welcome back to another video um so in this video this is a, a short video um i just because i was driving down the road and i was just thinking of random things and i was like what's the point of like uh getting all this money right because i was listening to little baby and he said something about getting millions or something like that and then i'm looking at cars i seen somebody with a nice car driving faster than me you know um and i'm thinking like bro like what's the point like folks want to get all these nice little cars and stuff that's fast and stuff and whatnot um i mean most of the roads especially if you're in the hood most of the roads are not even drivable so these nice cars that people get they mostly drive in like areas that are less <clears throat> dangerous you know the roads are in better condition um so yeah i was thinking about how um uh, this dude he uh he just got sentenced 30 years for killing somebody's child nine-year-old child and they were on a road trip in florida somewhere and um he got sentenced 30 years and that was back in 2016 i believe and they just now so-called quote-unquote getting justice for it but you know all in all that can't bring back their son um and where i'm getting that is i was thinking about because basically the, the son died by um the guy he was texting while driving and he ran in the into the back of their their vehicle and killed their on uh, the on um, you know the parents on uh, nine-year-old son so i'm thinking like bro if they were to ever put tesla or any electric powered vehicle that can basically control the um how can i say um the accidents that happen I can see that it will probably be a safer environment if they were to to um add in like electric vehicles and they be controlling it but see the thing is i feel like they will be going overboard by you know spying on people and stuff like that you know which they already doing regardless if we have an electric vehicle or a gas vehicle but the point that i'm making is like it's kind of crazy that it would be safer if we had automated cars because automated cars have the ability to um not rear end a car you see what i'm saying if it was to get up close to a car it would stop because i seen some um footage of a bus that had got real close to a car and it stopped automatically see the difference is between an automated car controlled by artificial technology and humans with real emotions is that the automation would um be more inclined to stop than the human with emotions and that's kind of crazy and it's kind of sad because people with emotions they can either care or they don't care but with artificial intelligence you can artificial intelligence you can program the vehicle to to be aware you see what i'm saying you can program it only to be aware or to stop when in contact with another vehicle you see what i'm saying so that's one plus that i can see with technology but it's just that with that control they will be controlling where people go they can uh hijack people you see what i'm saying so that's the downside to it but uh, also like think about like keys instead of us using keys having dangling keys it would be more convenient i'll say for lack of better terms and more convenient like example somebody chasing you and you got all these dangling keys you trying to get into your door and they don't be don't got you by the time you find the key that you trying to get to get in your door or you drop your keys but if you had it to where you had a chip inside of you and you just swipe the door and it opened you see what i'm saying i don't want that to happen but don't y'all think that it's safer that way you see what i'm saying like it's crazy that was just 
a thought that I had. I don't want to get no chip, and I'm not getting no chip. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> in that situation with somebody chasing you, you trying to get in your door, and or or your vehicle or something like that, or any opening to safety, you trying to get away from somebody, and you trying to find a key, and the keys dangling, and you or you end up dropping the keys, or you lose your keys. But if you have the key attached to you. Um, it could be externally or internally. All you got to do is just swipe, swipe, um, the door or, you know, the door of whatever opening that you're trying to get in to get the safety. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of some benefits that I was seeing to the, um, technological movement. But as, as I said before, like with that control, these beings who controlling it would be going overboard like they already doing now. But it would it would be way more worse in my opinion. But yeah, that's all I have. Um, but again, like I say, uh, oh yeah, another thing. So a lot of people say that this is a prison planet, right? Is this a prison planet because it was invaded, conquered, and made to be a prison planet, or is it a prison planet from the get go? Because the way I see it, the reason, the the, mo the most reason why people are, are stressed out and want to leave this realm or commit suicide, in my opinion, is because of the system that's set up, the worldviews that we live by, um, the religion, the race, the different um, ideologies, the different movements, and stuff that we get intertwined with and distracted by. I think that's the reason why we want to leave this planet. But if it was a better world, we would all it would be a lot more souls coming through this realm and enjoying this so-called prison planet. You see what I'm saying? If there was no illness that they manufacture, manufacture, man-made, if there was no illness that they created, nobody would be worrying about sickness. People would live longer in this so-called prison planet. So that's what I was wondering, like, is Earth a prison planet just because it's a prison prison planet? Or the invaders, uh, whoever the invaders are, whether they're the Demiurge, Urge, um, the Saxons, or or these um, Draconian entities or whatnot. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? So who's the enemy? You know? Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, what's the point? You come here, you get all this money, you get the fastest car that you can that you can get, you drive, but you ain't going nowhere but in circles. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere but in circles and you get this big old mansion and it just be you in it. You by yourself, like what's the point? Why do people do all this grinding for this money? I see all these I seen somebody with um their little business advertised on their vehicle. You know, and y'all know what, what I got on my vehicle, my message to the world or whatnot, whether they care to read it or not, or care to care. Um, I'd be like, what's the point of us even trying to create all these businesses to go nowhere but earth? You see what I'm saying? We supposed to be we supposed to be traveling all throughout the cosmos, going through planet to planet different chakra systems, different areas of inhabitants that we can inhabit, taking on many shapes and forms that the spirit can um, create or manifest for itself. And they got us here coming back to earth over and over looping, thinking that this is the end all be all. So again, like what's the point? Like it's, it's crazy. Like, they really got us stuck thinking that I got to have this fast car. I got to have this big house. I got to have this much of money. And you just keep doing it over and over. Um. So, yeah, that's all I got on my mind right now. Um. So, with that being said, I'm about to get, that, get back to my day. And I hope y'all have a good one. And... With that being said, either God, free thinker, signing out. Peace.